Hello and welcome to News 500. I'm Stephen Allen. And I may be Sean Mia. And these are the headlines. Lama goes on six hour rampage in Manchester. So far, apparently, it spent over £6,000 on a stolen credit card. Irish wind turbine collapses due to too much wind following other great Irish engineering successes, the DeLorean car and the Titanic. A Devon farmer has destroyed his Nazi-bred super cows. In a supreme act of irony, and I love this bit, he first removed their teeth and then gassed them. A&E waiting lists are at their worst level for over a decade. A man injured in a fight in a Weatherspoon said he wasn't even noticed for three hours. That's why I got into a fight, he said. Three hours and the barman never even looked at me. The UK government is planning a cull of the grey squirrel population, a breed of squirrel originally from America. UKIP have a similar plan in their manifesto, where the grey squirrel is a code for Romanians. You wouldn't want grey squirrels to move in next door either. Uh, campaigners have argued for an ethical alternative to reduce the population by removing their nuts. They also plan to do the same to the squirrels. Scholars to get a thousand extra nurses to cope with an ageing population. This comes as a welcome news as people in Scotland begin to live well into their 30s. At least they look older. Prince Andrew has been in the news this week. We can't say anything specific due to libel laws, so we will not be saying that he's been named in an American lawsuit accused of having sexual relations with an underage sex slave. You know, when I first heard that he was having sex with a minor, I thought, that, that just seems so messy, you know, underground, covered in coal dust, but uh, it's, it's usually been my favourite. Uh, we're joined now by a royal sex slave correspondent, Eric McElroy, who has met the prince before. <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, that's right, Steve. I met him and I can confirm he was a prick. And we understand the alleged sex slave met the Queen, is that correct? Yes, it was one hell of a royal variety performance. How is the palace reacting to these allegations? The palace's lawyers are saying that they will prosecute the unnamed woman for slander. Her lawyers have advised her to avoid motorway tunnels in Paris. Now, we should say that the girl was 17 at the time of the alleged encounter, which would not be underage in the UK. That's right. Our unnamed sources have made it very clear that if the prince ever did have a sex slave, he would make sure they were of age. We understand that Sarah Ferguson, the prince's ex-wife, came to his defence and you've spoken to her. Yes. Well, almost. We were about to start an interview, but someone dropped a pound coin. <laughs> she chased after it. Thanks, Eric. Norwegian filmmakers admitted faking a YouTube film showing a Syrian boy rescuing his sister during a sniper attack. Many were shocked. Who knew there were Norwegian filmmakers? I don't know what the Norwegian chick ones. She was faking it. Anyway, other fake films by the company include The Moon Landings, Footage of the Loch Ness Monster, and The Success of Mrs. Brown Boys. Yeah, that's, that's comedy. John Cantill goes on a city break to Mosul in the latest ISIS hostage video. Next week, they're taking him on a spa weekend, where he'll have the anti-aging treatment known as beheading. Talking of people who should have their head removed from their shoulders, Australian actor Russell Crowe has said there are plenty of roles for older women. Cooking, cleaning... Ironing, you know, the usual. It's the only way to learn. A man in America has written a memoir about his life with two penises. If you don't want to know how it ends, look away now. So that's how it ends. It starts as one and it separates into two separate urethras. It's absolutely fucking disgusting, man. Imagine what that would be like, though, having, having two cocks. After the fatal shooting of two New York City police officers, there have been concerns that the police might shoot someone in retribution. A spokesman said that would be a pointless act as people wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a revenge killing and their normal operations. Sarah Palin was criticised for posting a picture of her son using the family dog as a stepping stool. The dog, named Jill, said she didn't really mind after seeing what the family did to Meese. What's Meese? It's plural of moose. Oh. I heard it wasn't a problem, as she's a breed of dog especially good at helping you get stuff down from shells. She's a retriever. Chelsea footballers have been given a break from training after their manager found them crying in the dressing room due to exhaustion. It must be awful, isn't it? Having to work 90 minutes a week. Yeah, I sit there crying and I only have to work 500 seconds. Ish. And finally, David Cameron admitted that President Obama frequently called him bro. Not that Obama feels close to Cameron, just can't remember his name. 
Obama actually calls most world leaders bro for the same reason, except for Angela Merkel, who he frequently calls ho, heifer, the creature from the Black Forest Lagoon, and oh my god, it's walking towards us. And that's it for this week's News 500. To get your regular fix, subscribe now. The week's news in 500 seconds. Ish.